What is going on, dudes? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to the City called Egglock. In the last episode, we ended up taking on Claire. Um, we ended up going and fighting Ho-Oh and catching Ho-Oh. I wanted to catch in something other than the Master Ball, but you know what? I did. In this episode, we'll probably be making it to the Pokemon League. In the next episode, we should be taking on the Pokemon League. Uh, provided things go according to plan. So anyways, let's go for the team here real quick. I didn't do any changes. I didn't need to do any grinding. We're all good to go. Um, because I think we're even a little bit over leveled as it is. I could be wrong though. Anyways, we start off here with Jose, uh, our Drapion with the Naive Nature. Holding left there was Exorcist and Night Slash Poison Fang Cut. We have Packard here, our Firo, with, uh, a an Adamant Nature holding the Sharp Beak with Quick Attack, Drill Peck, Feign Attack, and Fly. We have Kitty here holding the Leftovers and a Calm Nature with Cross Jump, Ice Punch, Discharge. And what, what, I don't remember what was I trying to teach him. I got rid of Strength because I wanted to see, I wanted to teach him Thunder Wave, but I don't remember him learning it by level up. So, I'm going to reteach him Strength here in a bit, so we'll have Strength, so pretty close cool up. Next up here we have Pudge, our Venusaur with a Quiet Nature holding the Leftovers, a Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Petal Dance, Sludge Bomb. Uh, we have Cedric here, holding the Choice Specs with Ice Beam, Surf Signal Beam, and Waterfall. I ended up getting rid of Psy Beam. I need Waterfall, but I didn't want to bring the, uh, the Fion, because I'd rather have my entire team, because everyone is, uh, at equal level. No one's, like, super over-leveled. It's got a modest nature, by the way. And then, finally, definitely last not, la last but definitely not least, we have Chuck here, our Iron Fist Choice Banded, uh, Freaking Infernape with Close Combat, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Mach Punch. This thing is a literal monster. Anyways, we're going to be taking, as I already said, we're going to be heading on up to Victory Road. And that's basically going to be the entire episode. I think we can get a couple encounters. We did get our encounter here at the, be like, god damn it, at the beginning of Kanto. Uh, near the end of the episode before last. So, pretty cool stuff. Episode, what, was that 14? Yes, yes, it was. Okay, anyway, I have, I literally bought like 17 super repels before I got here, so I should just probably use them. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Because it'll be a bit before we can get anywhere with an encounter. A rare candy. Okay, I'll probably end up selling that. I don't really need to keep it. I don't really need to sell it, I suppose, either, but whatever. Mainly because I have so much money because I sold all those damn full heels at the game, because the game glitched. Did I get an encounter in Toho Tojo Falls? I'm gonna go back to that episode and check. I'm pretty sure that I did not. So let's get an encounter here at Tojo Falls. I gotta run the rappel off. And if I did and I ran from it, oh well, too bad, so sad. Cut it! Alright, our first time using Waterfall. Sweet. Alright, so up here, if you don't re if you don't remember, right here, um, there is a cave where Giovanni is. Or, well, he was. Because this is obviously his radio. Radio no longer works. I think there might be an ev Dreano might have put an event to deal with Giovanni. Maybe there was one in the original games that I just don't remember. So, you know. Anyway, do you have... I know exactly who you have, but I just might as well fight you. It's rare to see anyone. Are you training on your own? I am. A dude. Okay. Oh, never mind. She has different Pokemon now. Because I remember, like, that she has the... Okay, the three grass starters, so... Mm. Why does that do more? Um, Pudge, get out here. I'll use my own pedal dance. Wrecked. <laughs> Next up is an Exeggutor. I don't know what you can really do to Jose, so I'm gonna heal up him. Jose, wake up! Are we serious, Jose? Thank you. Goodbye. Next up is a Roserade. Roserade can't do much of anything to me. Except put me to sleep! Everything has Petal Dance. Stop it! I bet Pudge's strong enough. Oh, I'm a Oh my god, you're kidding me, dude. Thank you. That works for me. You dick. Jeez. That was way more difficult than it should have been. Alright, off your Pokemon need to see. That's Sandstorm, isn't it? Yep. This sucks. Will you heal me? Thank you. Point is, I'm never gonna use Sandstorm. Even in competitive, I'm not a big fan of weather. Well, that was weird. I didn't mean to go that direction, but okay. Fight me! You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. Okay. I'll battle everyone I, I see fit. Uh, I need to switch, because I literally can't touch you. 
We can go into kitty. God damn it. Goodbye. Oh, well, you survived. That sucks. Why would you energy ball me? Alright, whatever. Since Electivirus paralyzed, I'm just gonna close combat you in the next dimension. And a pedal dance. Beat ya. Let's keep a going. Zedek's gonna surface in the water. It's funny how you literally... Okay, so you need Whirlpool to get this. So we'll come back with Fiona. Mainly because I just don't feel like... I don't know. Uh, teaching Whirlpool to my Octillery? Because that's no fun. Whoop, was a bad move. Alright, let's not. Goodbye. He ain't no, he ain't no match for me. I'm gonna stay in. Mainly just because... Ow. Jose's really good. He's just such a bulky mon, too. It helps. Alright. Uh, let's go into Kitty. Let's hit him on the special side. Hey! It's fine. I don't... I wasn't gonna use a uh, Will-O-Wisp on you anyway. Packer, go! Why did I do that, actually? You, you will o wisp me. Okay. That's fine. I was actually expecting a Thunderbolt, and I'm like, shit, that was not a good idea. Because it does get Thunderbolt. I have so much crap in here, dude. I just need to organize my boxes. Not my boxes, but my bag. And I didn't even need... What's funny is I didn't even need to heal up any Pokemon. It just ended up being a, a time waster. Alright, let's keep on going. A Destiny Knot. That's great. Uh, yeah, you can give a Destiny Knot in the Pokeballs to that woman back at the lighthouse. I don't know what she does with it, actually. I don't think- I'm- because I don't know if I ever did that in this game. Anyway, next up is a Bayonet. Uh, Jose's just too good right now, man. It sucks that he's so good. Because <laughs> other Pokemon don't get their chance. Ow. Okay. Just quick attack. Goodbye. Good job, team. We did it. Alright, Jose's really good, so we're just gonna put Cedric up front. Oh, well. You know what's funny? She is a, that's that's a very like girlish sound for uh I don't know. An ace trainer? Oh well Well shit, why did Cedric freaking knock the thing out? Props to you, my dude. Alright, let's not, just goodbye. Next up is a Gastrodon. Pudge, get out there and just obliterate this poor thing. I'm sorry, Gastrodon. You're a cool Pokemon, but... Oh, I'm stuck in a Petal Dance. That's right. Hey, that did decent damage. You did nothing. Wow, you're bad. Hey, good job, Pudge. Pudge, you the man. Let's go. Next up is a Fortress. Uh, I wish Kitty had a Fire Punch, but not. Nah. We're just going to go into Chuck and... I can't reteach him because it was an egg move, but it sucks balls. I'm really surprised that Cedric was able to knock out the Hypno, actually, uh, from Struggle. And I was even, yeah. It just wasn't a good idea to leave him in, actually, so I could have been really bad. Alright, here we go, Route 26, so we get another encounter here. I'm feeling great. That's great. That's just dandy. Ha! Get frozen. And you thought turn one. Are we serious, dude? All right. Next up is a cool fish. Let's nope. Let's just go into kitty. Discharge. Goodbye. Next is a whale. Oil. Hey, all that HP gone. Let's go. Are you Cameron the photographer? Yep. Let's take a picture, man. Let's do it. That sort of works. Good enough for me. Because you can see clearly what all our Pokemon are. We have a really cool looking team, dude. I love it, actually. Ow! I keep forgetting Kitty's a fighting type! It's so conflicting! Because I'm like, oh, we're good. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna just stay in. I can do some decent damage. We'll be okay. But then it turns out that I'm, I get hit by Psychic Move and it's like, oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, no. That's bad. It's really bad. Oh, I didn't even get my encounter yet. I have a repel on it still. Okay. Well, that sucks. I didn't want to go down here yet, but that's okay. If I can find a cool item or something, that's fine, because I'm still on Route 26. 
Yeah, there's Route 27, here's Route 26. Encounter Pokemon, come here, come to me. That took a lot longer than it probably should have. There we go. I wish there was a heal house close to here. I think there actually is. Ooh, a Magneton. I could have got a higher level encounter by encountering a Grassmon, but you know what? I'm perfectly okay with, with not. You think you were uh, lucky? Yeah, I'm lucky. Thank you. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Alright, we'll put Packard up front. I don't know what this guy's gonna have, but we'll see. Since coming this far, you must be good. I mean, high level. Okay. That's just unfortunate. You can have good. You can have high level Pokemon and not even be that great. Focus Blast. Interesting. Alright, Charizard. Um. I think Packard could do it. You went for Focus Blast. Very interesting. Does it actually get Focus Blast? Or is that just a... Wait. Let's see. What did you have first? Oh, you're gonna have... Uh, you're probably gonna have Venusaur as your final Pokemon. Alright, let's go Kitty. I don't know what they keep using. I think they're all using Focus Blast. A Meganium. Interesting. Alright, we'll stay in, actually, because I can Ice Punch you. Surprised you didn't have a Venusaur, actually. And goodbye. You don't believe this because I am the... I am the goat. I am a goat. Bah. What's back? Here? Oh, this is the the days of the week, people. My brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving. Love Monica. Keep reading. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What, what's today? Today is Tuesday. So where's where's Tuesday? Monica is on Route 40. Tuesday is on Route 29. I'm pretty sure Route 29 is right next to Olivine's. No. Route 29 is literally right outside of Newark Town, so we'll go back there uh, a little bit later. It's a Hewlett! Oh my gosh, man! Why couldn't I have? I need. I would have hatched one so bad. So Packard goes down. We have literally the perfect replacement. It's counterpart. And yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we'll, we're good. I'll leave Packard up front for now. Okay. There's probably an item over that way, so... Let's fight! Let's just do all the fighting, right? Experience the tip battles, gain power. More or less gain experience? I guess you can translate that to power. Ice punch! Are we serious, bro? <laughs> what is my luck, bro? Come on! Alright, I just gotta go into my defensive Pokemon. Jose. Because Jose's the goat. It really sucks, that was just an unfortunate series of events. Alright, uh, let's go, Pudge. Giga Drain. Goodbye. Sorry, little buddy. You're not little. Alright, kitty. Crush up, goodbye. Now, this team is good. I love this squad. Alright, um, I'm gonna go into Pudge, because Pudge is pretty safe against this thing. Just hit it super hard with the Pedal Dance and the Para. Alright. Fine. Whatever. Sceptile. Okay... Um, when in doubt, just go into Jose, because Jose is a literal beast. I was uh, I was expecting SD quick, uh, quick, quick attack. Because, I mean, you weren't going to outspeed my Drapion. Drapion? How fast is Drapion? I need to look that up, because it outspeeds everything, bro. Well, that's not true, but it outspeeds so much. I'm actually, I'm going to just look that up real quick. Gen 4 had some dope-ass Pokemon. Actually, I have a bunch, I have like two Gen 4s right now. Yeah, three of them, actually. Electivire, Drapion, and, uh, and an Infernape. But, base 95, so it's as fast as Electivire, which is really cool. And it's got, its defense stat is its highest stat, actually, being 110, which I did not know. So that is pretty dope, I have to say. Alright, perfect. You had Blizzard, what the hey? Alright, next up is the Lux Luxray. Man, I just don't- I need a good ground-type move or something. I need some- I need to get, like, access to Earthquake or something. Ow! Alright, let's just not do that. You're just wasting time here. Alright, next up is a Blaziken. Blaziken! Fly. Ha! High jump kick! Get Rex, scrub. Goodbye. You've been defeated! Is there nothing up here? There's a headbutt tree, but that's it. Okay, interesting. I don't think these trainers turn around, I don't know, but... Lost a redhead trainer, he was really strong, but he had absolutely win it. 
Okay. That was weird why I absolutely was capitalized there, but... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Whatever. Let's go into Kitty. Wow. It's a good thing Kitty's got some... Actually, defense is like his lowest stat, so... I don't know. It's a good thing he survived that, basically. Ha! Two high jump kick dodges. Packard, you are quick and nimble. Yeah, whatever. I don't like turning you people down because I'm a softy. I love I love Venusaur's Overworld Sprite, dude. I have a fond memory of Soul Silver when I when we were watching some movie and my parents didn't like that I was playing my game while I was doing watching the movie, quote unquote. I don't even remember what the movie was, but I remember getting my Bulbasaur from uh, Professor Oak and training training him up because. After you get all the Kanto badges, you get a starter from Professor Oak. So that's pretty dope. There's also people in this game that give you other... The other starters, like, not as quizzes, but actual certain professors or whatever. Uh, only truth is to prove themselves to my past. So they badges of Jodo. Please go right on through. Thank you. Goodbye. The Victory Road he theme here is kind of weird. Anyways, our first encounter here in the Victory Road is the Dawn fan. I was saying I need a good grass type. Okay, well let's go for a quick ball. Are we serious, Dawn fan? Stay in the ball. Thank you. All right, Kitty's gonna push that rock up. We're gonna move. We're gonna go. We. I know we have a battle against Silver here at the end, so it's gonna be a tough fight. I don't know what he, what to expect. Um, I might lead out with Electivire, expecting the Honchkrow again, because I believe that's what he led with uh, the last time we fought him in the Team Rocket hideout. Protector! If we had a right on, we could get a right here. Oh, we have a right horn! That's actually not bad at all, in all honesty. You know, thinking about it, I should have... The person, whoever sent that egg in, I uh, should have given the right horn a, a protector so we could... Evolve it if we ever got there. Anyway, Max survive. Basically worthless. I'm pretty sure on the other side of this rock, uh, you can get an item. No? Is it down here then? Oh, I thought there was another rock here you could get an item on. Let's see, which way did I come from? I love just like with all the browns and, and colors here and then you just see Venusaur. It's just so unlike all those. It just looks good. He's a beautiful, beautiful Venusaur. Pudge is staring straight into my eyes. Pudge is surveying the area. Okay, Pudge. Proud of you, buddy. Hey! Another Max survive! So, that's another however much that sells for. So, I I should probably uh, ask this question now. I If you've seen some previous Nuzlocks I've done, <clears throat> when it comes to Elite Four and Champion, uh, I'm, I've, like, been a little more lenient, like, um, I've done something like where I could revive Pokemon, but I could not revive them in the same, uh, battle that they fainted in, so, like, I couldn't reuse them for the fight, but I would be able to revive them after the battle, so that if I needed to, uh, if I needed them, so I wouldn't lose the entire, uh, whatever. I don't know. I was thinking about that, and I'm wondering, we do have so many Pokemon to use, but we do have a scarcity on a specific couple typings. So I was wondering if we do something like that, but I have like uh, one free revive per Pokemon or something like that, that I'm allowed to revive them once during the entire Elite Four and otherwise I'm not able to. Also, isn't this where you get Earthquake? I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's an, I, okay, I was about to say, well, shit, I healed. Uh, I don't remember which is which, so I'm gonna save real quick. Yeah, because I don't really want to redo the whole puzzle. Okay, so. This is the correct one. I need to go to the one above to get that item. I think that'll take me out of here. It should. An HP up. Okay. I'll need something with Rock Smash and with Whirlpool to get make sure I get all the items. Hey, oh, Trainee, you may be close to refresh your fighting spirit. Thank you, ma'am. There's joy. Damn it, I didn't want to run into a Pokemon. Okay, well, let's hope I don't regret coming over here. There's Earthquake! I said I needed it and I got it. I'm pr I might teach that to Electivire over Strength. 
I was wondering, I, then I wonder what's behind all those rock smash rocks. Okay, that's no big deal. I was worried that I'd have trouble getting back. But we're good. We're good to go. I don't want to teach anyone rock smash, but... <sighs> Let's do it, gold. <laughs> Hold it! Are you going to challenge a... Well, I'm gold. He's silver. Are you going to challenge a Pokemon League? Victor was at its end for sure. Did you notice you didn't see any real trainers in the way, did you? Man, they were spying us. If I could come this far, means you're not one of them. But... Journey ends here, because right here, right now, I will crush you. Sure, whatever you say, bud. Let's do this. I'm worried about this fight. I'm not gonna lie. All right, good prediction. All right, I'm gonna go for a discharge straight off the bat. It might Oko, straight up, because Electivire is a good Pokemon, and Hunchcrow, it's got some bulk behind it though. Nasty plot. Oh no. Never mind. You're dead. All right, next up is an Alakazam. It's going to Jose. I'm making all the safe switches. I don't care about levels right now. I'll get everyone evenly leveled up for the Elite Four. I, I don't know what level I'm going to do. It's either going to be 54 or 55. Well, I was going to say, shoot, I meant to use Night Slash, but Exus will do. It, it's, yes, it'll still Oko because Alakazam's defenses are crap. Alright, he's got an Electivire of his own. Shoot, what do I do against you? I gotta. I think I just gotta go into Chuck and like close combat it. Cause there's not much else I can do to the Pokemon. Cause I don't have any electric moves. Uh, and flying is neutral, and also he's super effective against flying. So I just gotta do as much damage as I can. Choice banded. Uh, close combat though should probably kill. Yeah. Electivire's got bad defense. It's like base 60 defense or something like that. Next up is a Kingdra. All right. Pudge, get in here. In all honesty, I probably should have gone to Cedric. Because Cedric has the neutral ice beam and the specs. <clears throat> he also resists water and ice. Alright, let's go over the sleep powder. They're gonna yawn me. I missed the sleep powder. Alright, I got my sleep off. That's good. So I'm gonna use the full heal. Out of the shit ton I have. Alright, let's go for a, a nice Giga Drain. Okay, let's go for the Giga Drain. That does a pretty decent amount. Let's go for Petal Dance. Hey, we're good. They're just gonna yawn me. That's perfectly fine. Next up is a Typhlosion. Alright, Cedric, get out here. Level 53. This team's powerful for sure. That's gonna hurt. I didn't even know Typhlosion got Thunder Punch. It could be a Drayano thing. But this is gonna Oko okay, for sure. No way you're living it. Sorry, buddy. I love Typhlosion, though. It's a cool Pokemon. Gengar! That was a really bad impression. Anyway, Jose, let's go. I just don't know if Cedric could live with Thunderbolt from the Gengar. Because he could obviously Oko with Surf, but... I just don't know if he'd live it, and I don't want to risk anything. I see! It seems it wants to lock the guy this far. A uh, duh! Jose is so damn fast! I can't believe it, dude. He's crazy fast. And we did it! I did it. I hate bless and what I lack. I'm beginning in a scene with the Dragon Team said. <coughs> Gotta love your Pokemon, friend. I haven't given up becoming the greatest trainer. I'm gonna find out why I can't win and become stronger. What I do will challenge you, beat you down with all my power. <laughs> Keep at it till then. <laughs> Bye, dude. Actually, that's probably where Jad is now. I haven't I haven't freaking talked to him in a couple weeks again. Just disappeared off the feast of the planet. He just always does that. Alright, heal my Pokemon. I'm gonna go get a Rock Smash Mon. Alright, so here are the three Pokemon we're gonna be able to uh, trade out. Ooh, you get Technician. Not bad. Wait, did I see a Pokemon named Chowder? That's a dope name, Gallifrey, because I know exactly what that's gonna be with the Dawnstone. But Chowder, I wonder what that would be. Nope, title cannot learn it. Darn. Alright, well, we gotta get a different Pokemon for HMs then. Alright, let's grab this Mankey here. Because I'm pretty sure Mankey can learn Rock Smash. It would only make sense. Okay, we're gonna go get those items here. So we're gonna go back into the cave first and get the. Oh, well, well. Damn encounters. We're gonna break some rocks. Get whatever this item is, and then I'll go back to the beginning. I'll go back to New Bark Town. Actually, can I? I hope so. Blue shard. Not bad. 
Damn it. A blue flute. Okay, so not really worth it, in all honesty. Okay, good. I can fly to Johto from here. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna use Whirlpool. So Sweet. Alright, so let's put... I was gonna say let's put someone who's not level 52 up front, but... Everyone here is Cedric was the only one who wasn't. And I boxed him because I had title. Tweet, tweet, tweet! So it's a good thing I have... Kitty out here. Bye. I'm actually surprised Chad out speeds. But sweet. Five part season, I don't sure whatever. I just want to get the item. I will take or. I didn't need it. I already had one. Oh, there's another whirlpool here. I actually went over here to see what was over this direction. Oh, it's just you get to skip a lot. Is it? Is that it? Have I battled you? Okay, I didn't remember fighting you, so I wanted to check. You know. All right, Lyra, what do you gotta say? I just hope you bring up the Meryl. Hi, this is Lyra! How are you? We're in a place called Mount Silver. I haven't been there yet, but it's like a place that makes Pokemon pretty nervous. Thanks. I just want you to bring up your di Meryl smells like a dust mop. Oh, wait. Crap. I was thinking about it. She can't because her Meryl already evolved. She called me to say that. How much? S Sacred Ash only sells for $100. That's crazy. I don't need that potion. $2,000 for each max survive. Not bad. I don't need the money, but you know what? Might as well sell them, because I don't need them. Okay, so actually, I shouldn't have sold those revives, because I'm going to have to buy them back. I'm going to buy six revives. And you all can let me know if you want me to use the... If I'm allowed to have the one free revive per Pokemon or not. And if not, it doesn't matter. I'll just sell the revives back, because I have plenty of money. Alright, I have a ton of money, so we're just going to buy 29 full restores. Actually, we'll buy... Yeah, we'll buy 29. I don't need more than that. And we'll stock up on Hyper Potions just to be safe, so... Just in case I... Nope, I only wanted 13. Anyway. I lost my train of thought, but you know what I'm saying. I don't need to buy any full heals, obviously. Alright, the first number I generated is 8. So we will use egg number 8. It has leftovers. Another leftovers. Low. Alright, what low is this Golding? 34. Okay. So that'll be in place of a level 34 Golding. Next number is 27. Okay. Uh, yeah. This will be this one. You've got an expert belt. And this Buizel is 25. Okay. And the final egg for this level 45 Dawn fan. I literally hit it again and I, like, I click the button. I don't think, I literally think it randomized to 27 again, but we're going 20 because that was the next one I got, so. 24, 23, 23, 23, 23, 20. Oh, yay. Alright, you don't have any in, anything, so it's level what? 46, 40, oh, I was gonna say 45, and for some reason 46 came to mind, which was the correct number. So. Alright, let's see what this first egg is. Boom. Boom. It's an Omnite. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna name you Lord Helix. All praise the Lord Helix. I actually never watched Twitch plays Pokemon. I really couldn't stand it. I mean, it was just all the chaos. I just couldn't stand it. Anyway, Lord Helix here has Pokerus. I don't know. Um, none of my Pokemon have Pokerus. I thought they did. Alright, interesting. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, we have Lord Helix here uh, with War Beam, Bubble Beam, Toxic Spikes, and Ring Out. A very interesting moveset. Alright, so what's next on the agenda? It's an A-Palm! Oh! Oh, that's so, that's so cool! Okay, really quickly, I want to uh, go check. There was one previous episode of the uh, Egglock. Someone new commented, and I want to see, depending on their name, will depend if I ended up naming this thing. It's a female A-Palm. Okay, yeah, his name is is Donovan, so I'm going to name the Pokemon a male Pokemon Donovan. So let's hope the next Pokemon is male or genderless so it works. Anyways, what do I want to name you? So I'm going back to Valkyria Chronicles to find the name of a character from that that I was thinking of. The nostalgia just hit me all at once. It's been so long. Did that? I finished that in April. Oh, no. 
I haven't listened to that song in forever. I need to look it up. Or not look it up, I need to listen to it. Anyway, I just gotta figure out what her name is. Because I, she's one of my favorite characters because she's so good in battle. You know what? I was thinking of a different character, but we're gonna go with Nadine. Nadine was my engineer. Uh, I didn't even see her name. I knew that I selected her, but she was my favorite engineer from the game. Uh, it was the... Oh, I can't remember her gosh damn name. Why? Anyway, we have an adamant nature here. Adamant nature, Adam and Nadine here with Furious Wife Swift, Tickle, and Screech with Pickup. Interesting. Alright, now the final egg. You know, I, I really gotta figure out what her name is because I brought her. I. There's one of the three scouts I brought to every battle. Frasia! I thought her name started with an N for some reason. It's Frasia. Anyway, alright, so let's have this last egg here. I will name a Donovan if it's a male or non. or generalist Pokemon, but. I, I might just name it Freesia if it's a female. But it is a Dratini! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my mouth. It is female, so we're gonna name you Freesia. Interesting name. I never would think of Freesia. I'm naming. I don't know. I mean, I. The last time I had a Dragonite, or made a Dragonite, I hadn't played Valkyrie Chronicles, so. Anyway, you're a brave nature with Supersonic and Dragon Rush and Marvel Scale. Alright, so I think on the redesign team, you're probably gonna get on it. If I had to be honest. I'm excited! That's gonna be so dope. So that's three unique Pokemon, I believe. I mean, uh, I'll keep I'll, I'll, be, I'll keep the Dratini if I obviously don't have one. I'm pretty sure that I don't, because, yeah, that was one of the things I don't have. Because I didn't have any Dragon types. I had... Flygon, and I let it die. I think that was actually my only dragon I've had. The, and the Gibble. The Gibble just died, and I just got... I didn't feel like keeping it alive for training, so, you know. Anyway, not important. So that is a very cool bunch of Pokemon that we get. I'm gonna level these guys up so they'll be all caught up to their desire, not desire, specific levels. And yeah, I'm excited. Um, this is gonna be one tough... Uh, LE4. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll need to do a grinding montage. I only gotta get everyone up a couple levels. Um, I'll record it, obviously, just in case if I, like, run into a shiny or something like that. And if it's long enough, I'll make it into a grinding montage. If it's not, then I won't worry about it. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, if it did look especially in the next episode, we'll be taking on the Pokemon League. Oh, make sure to answer the question if I should get one free revive per Pokemon, and if not, doesn't bother me. Uh, that's just more of a challenge, and that and a challenge is always fun, is as long as it's not stupidly over, overly, no, overly difficult. <coughs> Zelda. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.